Now, let's come to the third question of GS paper 3. How far is integrated farming system helpful in sustaining agriculture production? See here, notice how far. Then, the integrated farming system helpful in sustaining the agriculture production. So, in this answer essentially, you should initially start by discussing what is the integrated farming system. Then, every part of the integrated farming system, you should explain how it helps in sustaining the agricultural production. Sustaining means that practice, if followed, will be helpful for a long time. I mean, for example, see, in some practices like using excessive fertilizers, the soil gets degraded because of which you can no more use the land. Similarly, if you use excessive irrigation, the soil gets salinity so that in the long term you cannot use it. So, sustainable practices are unsustainable. Here we are asking you how this is sustainable and also how far. How far means definitely this farming system, the system cannot help in sustainable production throughout India. There are some challenges, some obstacles. So, those things also you have to explain. Only when you explain the challenges, only then you can say you have answered the question completely. So, also remember, see, mostly this answer can be done well with the geography optional students because they can even draw good diagrams of the individual farm system. Generally, everybody writes almost similar points, but to distinguish your answer, get half mark or one mark more, you have to add some creativity, like you can draw a good diagram or you can draw a good, you know, cyclic farming. How the waste from one resource goes into another resource. So, let us look at each of them. In the introduction part, briefly discuss or define the IFS. You can say that integrated farming system is a method of farming where you use two or more agricultural practices. Like, you can combine, you can combine poultry with agriculture with crops or you can combine pisky culture, the cultivation of fish along with the crops or agroforestry where silviculture, silviculture means the cultivation of trees, silviculture is done along with the crops. Sometimes you can integrate all of them even. So you can even draw a good diagram like you can take a agricultural field, you can say you, you go for intercropping, intercrop means in this strip you can grow pulses, in this strip you can grow groundnuts and here you may grow some other crop and maybe here you can go for poultry, poultry at one corner of your field you can uh, poultry, another corner you can go for cattle ranching, cattle ranching, animal husbandry or piggery, you can go for piggery or duckery and here see generally open grazing of the cattle is leading to soil erosion and the elimination of the green pastures hence you can go for the stall feeding stall feeding of the cattle see silvery culture cultivation of trees you can grow trees within the field so that the trees give fodder the trees give fodder for the cattle, fodder for the cattle and the cow dung, the cow dung can be used as a fertilizer, bio-fertilizer for the agricultural field. So the poultry, the hens here can actually feed on the fish waste, the waste coming from the fish or waste coming from the other places can be the poultry. Similarly, we call, we call it as a cyclic farm cyclic farming. So, integrated farming actually helps you in cyclic farming where the waste from one resource can be used as a raw material for another. Similarly, here you are using the waste from the trees as a for the cattle, etc. Now, we have to explain how each of them helps in sustaining the agriculture production. Sustaining. See, integrated farming is a very you know, uh, it, it has a larger scope, you know, it has intercropping, organic farming, it has called, you know, animal ranching, mushroom culture, pisky culture, etc. Now, how each of them helps in sustain this production? Firstly, you can say that 
you can say that by the silviculture growing of trees the aquifers the aquifers will be recharged whenever there is a rainfall there will be more percolation infiltration of the rain into the ground hence the ground water gets recharged recharged similarly you can talk about abrasion of soil erosion soil erosion can be controlled can be checked by the integrated farming particularly the tree roots can hold the soil together then you know the uses of fertilizer and pesticide can be reduced the uses of uh, chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides can be reduced particularly because as you see it is kind of zero waste farming see zero waste does not mean there is no waste at all of course there will be waste but most of the waste can be used for another uh, sector sector so it actually helps you in best waste management waste management also see as you are using the cow dung as fertilizer or using some bio pesticide definitely the budget of the farmers in buying the chemical uh, fertilizer etc comes down the budget of the farmers comes down and when the budget comes down the farmer can sustain the aggregate production for longer time similarly as you use lesser chemicals definitely the soil will not get degraded and hence you can sustain the production agriculture for a longer term similarly as the ground water is recharged you have to say there is better soil moisture and irrigation will be easier and farmers no need to look for the outside sources of water hence sustaining agriculture production will become easier similarly what yes watershed management yes you can say watershed management also actually watershed management is one of the practice uh, within the integrated farming system similarly you know there will be continuous income for the farmers there will be continuous income for the farmers as they are going for different crops and different kinds of agriculture there there will not be any seasonal income there will be income in every season for a farmer definitely this is a good business practice for the farmers also also the stubble burning which we are which most used in the north india after the harvesting this stubble burning will not be there in integrated farming because that stubble will be used for the next crop as a manure so there will not be stubble burning this definitely reduces the environmental pollution it saves the ecosystem the environmental pollution will be reduced it saves the ecosystem then there will be yes the nutrition security because as you are growing different kinds of crops as you know presently because of more consumption of only food grains like wheat and rice there is no nutrition security in india so as you grow pulses you know cattle poultry all these things there will be better nutrition security in india because of diversification of the agricultural practice that is also one of the very important thing also because of doing intercropping because of the intercropping what happens is see different crops different crops take the nutrients from different depths of the soil if you take this soil pulses may take nutrients from this depth whereas groundnut may take from this depth so as they take from different depths they won't compete with each other for the nutrients hence aggregate production will become more sustainable like that whatever point you talk about in the integrated farming system you are related and explain how it will sustain the agricultural production so there will be cyclic farming reduce the budget you know soil remains fertile you can talk about the agroforestry talk about agroforestry etc also see how far how far can this happen here you have to explain few points at least 3 to 4 points that integrated farming system has some challenges in india like number 1 lack of information lack of information or lack of awareness awareness that means the extension services that are reaching the farmers are mostly not integrated with this integrated farming system so lack of extension services lack of extension services then small land holdings most
most of the farmers in India are small farmers, marginal farmers, where they have small land holdings. Because of the small land holdings, it will become difficult to practice this kind of integrated farming system. Also, also, you may discuss how these problems can be solved. One or two lines you can discuss consolidation of the land or providing protection and services and you know uh, using the technology, how to use technology, how to grow, how to you know have horticulture within the uh, limited crop that they have. You can provide one or two solution. Of course, it is not asked in the question, but still you can provide one or two lines. Like that, you can address this how far this part can be addressed. And finally, after finishing the question, the conclusion part. In the conclusion, you can slightly go beyond the question. You can say that this integrated farming system actually helps not only in sustainable production, but also helps in the helps in the food security of India, food security, nutrient security, then water security, water security. Because here you don't need to use much for the irrigation, so water security, and you know you can talk about the income security income security of the farmers as they get the income in all the seasons and uh, environment, the environment conservation, resource conservation, you can talk about the resource conservation. So with these points you can conclude the answer. Generally in any question, in any question the first thing you will get marks for is whether you have addressed all parts of the question, this part, this part, and this part, all parts, whether you are able to address them. Then, whether you are providing any your own solutions, solutions, suggestions, something like that. Finally, in the conclusion, you may have to discuss something beyond the question, beyond the question, and some creativity, like using maybe some diagram, or maybe some people actually go for even flowcharts. Flowcharts, like what they do is, what they do is, they would say, you know, the crops cattle and the right from the cattle what comes is cow dung and trees from trees what goes is fodder 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 and also trees act as a wind breakers for the crop wind breakers wind breakers means during the uh, no, storms during the no, uh, heavy winds and all wind storms definitely it can be reduced by the trees so the effect of the crops will be lesser also, the leaves falling from the trees, the dry leaves, actually is kind of manure. It is it, it kind of biofertilizer. Biofertilizer. With that, you know, you can make a cycle. For example, you take the uh, pisciculture. Pisciculture. Paddy cultivation. How the waste from the fish is kind of manure for the paddy. And how the water provided for the paddy is helpful for the growth of the fish. So you can try a cycle like this, which you can use some creativity to get some half mark, one mark more in the kind of question. Any doubts?